Welcome to my Rampage rant. No, I'm just kidding. It's gonna be AW Rampage review, but just keep in mind the things that I have said in this video. Yeah, I, I it's linked here in the cards about the collision, a lot of chaos, one hour of just put up matches. I don't know for what reason. Maybe the match that has the most sense is the second one, I'm gonna get to it, but let's just jump into it so you understand what I'm talking about. The first match of the night, former JAS or Daddy Magic, Daniel Garcia and Cool Hands Angelo Parker, I think it's his name, versus the Hardy Boys and Brother Zay. What was the reason of that match? I don't know. Was it a good match? Yes. The whole match, Daniel Garcia was trying to dance and Daddy Magic was like, no, you're not gonna dance. You're not sports entertainer. Or I don't know what is his problem with the dance. I think the dance... I don't like the dance personally because it's a not good looking dance, but it's Daniel Garcia's thing and I kind of don't understand it why why there is a problem with it because I, I think there is a problem just for the sake of having a problem here next Jay Lito versus Tren Beretta this is the match that made most sense because the winner will face Eddie Kingston for the Ring of Honor Championship guys I swear I watched it like before 40 minutes and I already don't remember give me a second yeah Jay Lito won uh, not Jay Lito Jay Lito yeah, because he's dangerous and <laughs> whatever. Um, so, Jay Lito will probably face Eddie Kingston for the ROH title. I hope they build something there. I hope they cook something there. So yeah, that match made more sense. I feel like they're putting matches, dark matches on Rampage because Sky Blue versus Emi Sakura felt like a dark match. It was a good match. I like the finisher of Sky Blue. They're pushing her, obviously, with putting her with uh, Stratlander, uh, Emmy, Emmy Sakura. Probably they're gonna put her with Britt Baker. D, M, D. Uh, anyway, and uh, yeah, I don't have to say it's really hard to make a review when there is no story. I'm gonna even turn back on you. No, no don't watch me. Don't watch me. I just wanted to say that it's really hard to make a review when there is no story. I'm gonna go out of screen, you know? There is no story behind the matches, no build-up. Is it cool to have enough... Hey, what are you watching? I'm still here. Maybe if I come right here, you're not gonna be able to see me. Yeah, my set is huge. I'm able to go from end to end without you even noticing. You know what? I'm gonna go downstairs. I totally went downstairs. Like, I'm at floor minus one. All I wanted to say was, it's really hard to make a review when none of the matches had any build-up and no story behind them. But, with that being said, the main event, Gates of Agony versus Blackpool Combat Club, and in particular, Claudio Castanoli and Wheeler Utah. And that was actually a good match. And there is some story to it with Mogo Embassy versus Blackpool Combat Club and all the Swerve Strickland shtick, but not really, not real story there. Uh, it, it just both of them don't like each other, and Mogo Embassy just attacked Blackpool Combat Club on Dynamite a few days back. The match was good. I like Gates of Agony, I like their looks, I think they have a lot of potential. I don't know if they have that potential under Swerve, but I think I, they have a lot of potential. And of course, Blackpool Combat Club won with at one point Wheeler Yuta staying alone in the ring because Claudio was chasing Prince Nana and Wheeler Yuta. We will, we, why it's so hard for me to say Wheeler Yuta? was staying alone in the ring, dealing with both of these guys. And in the end, Claudio returned and they basically made a Blackpool special. I don't know if that's the special one. And won. And uh, that's how Rampage ended. With that being said, what can I say about Rampage? I cannot say anything bad, anything good. If I could rate from 5 to 10, I would rate it 5. Because it was mid thank you guys so much for watching and i'm gonna see you 
next time <laughs> did i shout too much into the mic tell me tell me in the comments if i shout too much sometimes thank you peace <laughs>